I have no idea about you, but I am absolutely obsessed with Encanto. And I'm saying this as someone who is almost 14. Like, the movie, the animation, the storyline, the characters, everything was perfect about this movie. And I love it, and you can't convince me otherwise. So, I went to Target, my favorite place on earth. And I saw they had a bunch of different Encanto toys that actually look pretty decent. So I decided to pick up a few to show you all and just for my own, you know, entertainment. So let's get into it together. And I apologize if my lighting suddenly starts to be awful. It's currently sunset and I'm, I can't wait to film this any longer because I want to open and play with these toys. But yeah, the lighting is probably going to change. So... I apologize in advance. So, if you guys saw my last haul with Target, I got the Isabella figure because she is my absolute favorite character. I know she's a bit of a brat, but whoa. She's the one I can relate to the most. And come on, she's just beautiful all around. We love her. She's gorgeous. So, that's why I got her first, and then I'm like, okay, they have Mirabelle, I need Mirabelle, they have Antonio's treehouse, you can bet I want to get it. So, I'm currently looking for some of the other sets to add to my collection, but this is what I was able to pick up, and I am very grateful. So, the Antonio's treehouse was about $20, I want to say, like $20, $30, which is not terrible because it looks like a pretty decent set, and you get a character and some other smaller animals and such, so I think it's actually a decent price, and for Mirabelle, as well as Isabella, they were both about $4 a pop, which, again, isn't awful, um, and there's a lot to collect, as we'll get into, but yeah, so I think the pricing on these was actually pretty decent. The quality looks pretty good. I rated it a 7 out of 10 just from what I felt Isabella. Um, so I'm going to get into it and let's see what they look like. So that was stupid. We can see what they look like, but let's open them up. So here we have Mirabelle. Whoa. So here we have Mirabelle and she's so cute. She has a little accordion and on the back it says, she is courageous, kind, and imperfect. Ir Mirabelle is on an adventure to save her family. Collect the magi magical Madrigal family. And we have Peppa, Julieta, Isabella, Bruno, Antonio, Mirabelle, and Luisa to collect. So far, I've only seen Antonio, Isabella, and Mirabelle in stores. Though maybe when I just go, the rest are sold out. Because they seem like popular characters, not gonna lie. So let's open Mirabelle up. So I like her packaging actually, so I'm going to try to keep it in the best condition I can. I say this, I just ripped through it. So I think we just pop, yeah, we just pop her out like that. She's absolutely adorable. I'm going to pop her accordion out now. Oh my gosh, her tiny accordion is so cute. So I'm going to see if she can actually hold the accordion because that would be even cuter. She can. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. So our Mirabelle figure has her iconic skirt and shirt, which I'll take the accordion off just so we can get a better view. Some pink shoes, her beautiful black curly hair, oh my goodness, her big green glasses. I recently got glasses as of like six months ago, like probably two months before this movie came out. So I was so happy to see a heroine with, heroine, heroine? A female hero with glasses who is roughly around my age and oh my gosh, like, come on, those are some cute glasses. Some, I think, look, they're kind of like a purple blue color um, for earrings and then she just kind of bends at the waist like this to sit. Same as Isabella. So I'm gonna see, like, I'm gonna set them up real quick. They are so cute together, oh my gosh. So, I absolutely love them, these little figures. I'm gonna keep collecting them until I get all of them, to be honest, because I want Peppa and Julieta and Luisa and just all of them. Bruno's a little concerning in the figure they made him for just, let's just look at Bruno. My dude has some rats and looking like he lived in his mother's basement for 30 years, which is not all that far apart from the truth. So, 
I'll give him some slack. He's 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 a good character. His his figure though is a little concerning. So I'm just gonna scoot these ladies out here and we're gonna open Antonio's treehouse. Okay, here is Antonio's treehouse. I feel like I'm five again just because of how excited I am. So let's get into kind of what's on the box. Ignore all the background stuff. It's kind of been a mess trying to clean up my table and all that and move filming areas and I'm whacking the camera. I'm very sorry, camera. It's a decent sized box. We have his little, I don't know what this is called. Um, We'll figure it out eventually, but I love these things. They're very cute. Capybara. I think this is a capybara. Um, I th yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a capybara. And he has his own little hideaway. I can't pronounce the name and I don't want to butcher it, so I'm not going to say it. But his capybara has a little hideout. You can open the door with a step and surprise. There's a swinging hammock. There is a magic and fun with every step. Encanto Antonio treehouse playset and then here we have Antonio and his capybara and toucan friend the snake is not in this little box up here but I'm sure he's in here somewhere so we have over here it says Antonio's hideaway home hidden home for cute capybara friend swinging hammock I really like that Oh, the back, it's so cute. So this girl is playing with it. It's very cute. He has like a little water slide, a fountain, I don't know. A door, I like the door edition. I think that's really cute. So six accessories included. Toucan, hammock, capybara, him. I don't know if he counts as an accessory or not, but um, his snake and chair. Part of a wondrous and magical family, warm-hearted and sweet cousin Antonio can communicate with animals. So he is our little animal dude. And honestly, I really want the magical casa because, like, come on. It's so cool. It would look so cool on, like, a display shelf or something. I want the Isabella garden room playset just because, you know. Hello. I love Isabella. And it's just so pretty. He has a tinier set called the Antonio and Animals Step and Swing set, which I believe has, like, some sort of monkey and his jaguar friend. There's also a... Mirabelle and Julieta Step and Stir set, and everything's like, explore more of the extraordinary world of Encanto. Each set includes Step and Surprise feature. Step and Surprise. I think the Step and Surprise is kind of hilarious, to be honest. Oh, look. Opening the door. Step and Surprise. Um, and we see Antonio from the side view here. So, let's open this up. Like I said, I am so excited for this. Okay, so I cut this open. I'm not even kidding. As I was cutting it open, there was like dust flying off of it. I think I've had this set for like a month or two and I just haven't opened it yet. So that explains a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to pop Antonio and his friends out of here. Whoa, whoa. There's a cardboard square, cardboard shape. I want Antonio. Oh, the whole treehouse is coming out. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, okay, throw this off to the side, Antonio's Treehouse, here it is, and there's nothing else left in the box, so I'm just gonna, there's like a little orange piece in here, kind of looks like a piece of a medicine, I don't know, like you see that, I don't know, it's just me, okay, so, here is his playset. And this is my first playset with, like, the Encanto series that they did. And these, with these figures, like, that can just kind of bend in half. Like, yeah. So, this is really cute so far. Okay, so I'm going to pop Antonio. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to free him. Oh. I'll free you. Okay. He's safe. I got him, and I got him, and I'm going to see if I can whoop, pull that out. There appears to be some sort of instructions within this, so I'm going to try to take that out as well. Whoop. This box is really weird because there appears to be something inside here in like a smaller wooden box. I just don't know. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Okay. 
So that's useless now. We have this thing, which I'm, I'm now throwing. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is his hammock. Okay, cool. We have a hammock. That's trash. And so we now we have instructions on how to put this all together. Hopefully it's not that complicated because I mean it's meant for a child. Like I I hope I whoa. I'm sorry, Antonio. I just hit him in the face. Okay. All the plastic and cardboard. Nope. This is his door, apparently. I need scissors. Come here, scissors. Okay, this is, this is his door, and I don't think there's any more cardboard on here, to be completely honest. These little bags that just came with. So, let's get into kind of reviewing, and I'll show you what they all look like. Okay, something really interesting for them, they actually have, like, poseable legs. They don't really, like, move by themselves all that well, you know what I mean? But, like, they're two separate legs. Rather than it's just one big skirt, his arms move. Um, he has this cute little fluffy hair. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He has this little orange shirt with like this little red bandana thing kind of around it with this nice detail on it. These puffy sleeves, brown shorts, well, I guess, I guess pants, not shorts. And then he has like these orange and tan sandals. And oh my goodness, I'm going to say this over and over again, but he is adorable. I love him. Next, we have the Judgmental Capybara. I, I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite characters out of the entire movie. He has a very thick bum. Um, he, he's judging us. I can, I can definitely tell he's judging us. The Toucan, on the other hand, looks like he just saw something he doesn't want to see. Okay, well, overall, I think they're really cute. So, I'm going to try opening these up. Yeah, let's... Let's get my scissors. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, cool. His snake friend is like in this tissue paper stuff and he, he's kind of stuck together in one piece. Like, I can't really move him. This, this is not movable. He has a cute little chair though. This is a really cute chair. So... I'm going to see if I can put this together and kind of show you what this all does. So actually, there's instructions for idiots like me who have absolutely no idea what they're doing. So if door is detached, please ins install it back. Is the door detached? Antonio, you're going to need to step. Wait, wait, I'm confused on how this works. Hold on. Let's get a good angle. So, does he need to, like, be able to step here? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, his door opens like that, and then he can walk through. Okay, so definitely not broken, because the door still opens. So, we don't have to worry about that. It appears to be, like, cut, if that makes any sense. Like, there's kind of words at the bottom. Maybe it's like, I, there's, there's stuff at the top too. I feel like I'm missing something. Is there another piece of paper anywhere? No, no, there's not. So they include instructions if the door is detached, but they don't include instructions like how where to put the hammock or anything. So as anyone's guess. So let's see if I can so my phone has this terrible habit of dying at 9%, which makes no sense to me because it's only like, you get a warning at 10%, it's like, oh no, it's going to die. So that just happened. So if I cut out again, don't worry, I'll just refilm it. But I didn't really know where this hammock went and I just put it here and it somehow worked out okay. And it like, you can put it, if I can angle it up more, there we go. You can put it up higher so it's like this off the ground or you can put it a bit lower so i'm gonna try both ways because you know our dude antonio needs some sleep so that's it down here with him in it and then up here whoa yeah up here just seems like you know you're, you're gonna get a concussion okay cool so he has an absurdly high hammock. I don't even think that's how far it's supposed to be, but they didn't give us instructions, did they? So, oh, there's a chair. Okay, cool. 
that's cute I just discovered something. Apparently with this toucan, you're supposed to be able to like clip it on here perhaps. Oh, well, there's like some sort of clip on the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that, but it appears it's supposed to be kind of sitting on here. Yeah, there we go. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. I love the set even more now. <laughs> I'll just also discovered that with enough manual force, anyone can just kick down the door. So it doesn't break it, but I don't recommend doing it as that's not how they intended. So the magical step and play because it's when you shove it, it goes like that and just kind of like pushes down briefly and it kind of makes like a weird squeaking sound. So there we go. Now he can walk through, but. It is cool for role plays and such. After kind of playing with it and looking around a bit more and just kind of examining it, I think I gave it an 8 out of 10. Like, as my reading, I would recommend it to someone else. Again, it's kind of one of those, like, I don't want to say, like, poorly built, but it's, so it's not the same kind of quality we get something like Calico Critters, but... It is still pretty cool, and for the Encanto toys that are out there, this is one that actually I really do enjoy, and I would find myself playing with this, like, you know, a couple times a week or something. Um, I think it's actually really cute, and it's great to just have. I would definitely recommend this to someone with younger siblings, or I'd want to, you know, give it to their cousins, nieces, nephews. It's so cute, like... How can you not love this? And the figures that go with it are just absolutely adorable and really well made, honestly. So my rating stands at a 8 out of 10. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in another one very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Enjoy!